Good afternoon, welcome to my laboratory. Uh, what we have here is uh, my latest little project. This is an Arduino based magnetic levitation system, optically controlled. Um, here we have an adjustable plastic screw, and here we have a coil that's made of a bunch of turns of number 27 magnet wire. It's an air core coil, there's no core in there. Uh, and here we have a, uh, an LED and a cadmium sulfide photoresistor. And this is an object that we will be levitating. It's got a strong NDV magnet, and a bottle cap in there to hold the magnet, and a black ping pong ball and a plastic cup. So that's what we'll be levitating. And over here is the Arduino. It's receiving an input from the CAD sulfide photoresistor wired as a potentiometer. And it's putting out an output to the LED illuminator. And it's also putting out an output to the gate of this power MOSFET over here. This is an IRFP 460 power MOSFET. And it's uh, receiving its 24 volts from the power supply over there, which is then switching through the coil to levitate the object. So let's see if we can make it work. Uh, first, let's plug in the battery that powers the Arduino. And then that should give us the LED beam to there. Make sure it's aimed about right. Yeah, that looks good. And then we got the voltage. And now we'll take the object we're going to levitate and just uh, put it in there and essentially set it right down onto the to the beam. Uh, of light there, and now it's levitating quite nicely. I think you can see that. Um, it's my, uh, and if I interrupt the beam with an object, you can sort of see the levitated object jump a little bit there. as the system thinks that the, that the object needs to have its position adjusted. Okay. Now, I've been experimenting with rotating it by blowing on it with a straw. You get some spin happening. Now you have to ask yourself if uh, field lines have a reality, uh, are they twisting up by my doing this? Are these field lines twisting and twisting and twisting? Oh, I don't know. Oh, the, uh, the average uh, power draw of the coil there is about 6 watts. No strings. Nice magnetic levitation. And if I adjust the position of the photocell, I think you can see that the height of the object follows that a little bit. Oops, had a crash there. No bother. Lost my spin though from the crash. Let's get a little more spin in there then. Whoops. 
still having a little bit of trouble with stability. Come on, baby. So what's happening is the program code, of course, senses not only the, uh, the illumination level, but also the, the rapidity of the change of the illumination level. Uh, and it also senses and corrects for ambient light by periodically turning off the LED and taking a measurement of the ambient light falling on, falling on the photoresistor. Yeah, I got the program from the internet, and it's a it's a short program, but it does a lot of interesting things. It even allows you to change one of the program uh, uh, PID parameters. It's essentially a PID program. Uh, it allows you to change one of the parameters over the serial port if you have it plugged into the computer. I'll put a link to the website where I got the program sketch from uh, in the description to the video. Unfortunately, there's very little detail on that site, so I had to do a lot of figuring and fiddling myself to get it to work properly. But as you can see, it does work properly. There you go. Arduino-based magnetic levitation using optical sensors. Thank you for watching.